Hi everyone and welcome back. Tom Slavic with developer Bob Reeder. How are you doing? Yeah, very good, thank you. I use the name developer, you're a developer. Yep, that's what they call us. That's a, is that a good word, <laughs> good term? It is to us. <laughs> okay. We, we make homes for folks and right. people like to live in homes so we like we think that's a great business. Okay, good. And I'm, I'm glad you said that and I'm, I'm probably on your side there as well. Okay, so because I think developments change so much and uh, mm -hmm. you know with, uh, gosh, look at how many things that you've had to go through to get your project to where it is today yeah. and I six think and a half years worth i might add okay and that's that's pretty good almost sounds like six <laughs> and a half years <laughs> yeah it's i a, think there's been developments that take longer well uh yeah gold rush took about nine i believe that's what i mean so, right yeah, here right, and uh, right and of course you know, I've had you on, and you uh, you uh, complete one hurdle, and then we say congratulations, and you're back. There's a next there, and then right. another thing. So here you are uh, with the development agreement. Mm -hmm. Yet there still is a next step, right? Absolutely, yeah. There's there's plenty to do. Uh, really, uh, this year we uh, plan to do a lot of engineering work. Uh, uh, we're we're still holding out some hope that we can start construction next year. But if we don't do the engineering this year, meaning um, we have to do some updates to the water and sewer master plan uh, in order to determine pipe sizes off-site if they're sufficient or if we have to upsize piping. Okay. Uh, and we have to do the construction plans uh, for all of our roads and utilities, underground, all that type of thing. And uh, then we figure once we're done with that this year, then toward the end of the year, we can reassess uh, the real estate market and see if uh, we can start construction next year. And of course, the financing market, but uh, then we'll have all our plans ready, so it does give us that option. If we don't do the engineering this year, we won't have that option. Okay, now, can you give me an idea, maybe it's not a good question to ask, but, but about how much does it cost to engineer a project like that? And with that, mm -hmm. is, a, is one of the developments gonna come up first and the other one second yes. or both at the same time? No, or? no, we, we have always planned to start the uh, Zinfandel project first because we have investors on that project. Uh, the other project, Shenandoah Ridge, we own entirely ourselves. Okay. So we have always planned to start Zinfandel first and maybe, we've always thought maybe a couple of years behind that we would start the other project. Uh, and I was asking <laughs> the other not to try to get an idea of how much you're spending, sure. but an idea that it's a it's a it's a big investment. It isn't is. It, to, yeah, to sure. The engi the engineering work uh, uh, and uh, pre-construction startup costs we're looking at somewhere we think between two hundred fifty and three hundred thousand dollars just okay. to get to the point where we can uh, put a shovel in the ground. Okay. And before you put the shovel in the ground, I guess there's uh, maybe a next thing that the uh, citizenry and the government have. Uh, uh, have for you to do? What would that be? Well, mainly it's uh, plan approvals, you know, what, construction plans. So we do our, in, what we call improvement plans, the engineering plans for the roads and underground and that, and that has to go through a, a plan appro approval process with Plymouth. And, uh, but that's kind of a routine process. And uh, once we have those done, we can go out to bid to contractors. Okay. And so is that, uh, so is that process after you get the engineering? Uh, well, so during the engineering, is it going to be in a yeah. few weeks? Oh no, they, it'll go on throughout this year, basically, okay. and so uh, probably be into the fall when we're actually going uh, submitting our first plan, set of plans to the city, specific uh, construction plans, uh, and and then they go through and, and mark them up. We we'll give them back to our engineers to uh, make changes or corrections, and goes back and forth once or twice, and and then we have approval of our construction plans. Then we can go out to bid. And then separate from that is the home construction. Now, what I've described with the engineering is just right. creating finished lots, right. you know, lots you can build on. But then the home plans, that's another process where you deal with the architects and you design some homes and, and give uh, potential okay. home buyers a, a look since, at what uh, you can build. Since, um, so is your part of the, uh, of the development then going to be more than just the lots? Or are you also going to take on uh, building some of the homes and right. designing those rather than just sell the lots and people build what they want? Is it both things? or Yes, that's been our plan uh, for a long time to actually uh, do the construction of homes as well. Uh, we Since it takes so long and is so involved to get the approvals, we'd rather be totally immersed in the project and do the co home construction as well and also gives us uh, hands-on with regard to the quality of the homes and, and the quality of the overall project. So. Okay. 
Yes. I found one thing in the last story that we did, <clears throat> just to me, just strange, just because as, mm -hmm. as a person, to where uh, there wasn't a school, you know, uh, space asked for, right. but not necessarily that, but that the idea that they thought that just the homes would only be bought by retirees and not bring people into the system. I mean, aren't there a lot of, you know, maybe not today, yeah. but aren't there a lot of people that could afford one of your homes and still have kids? Sure, yeah, there's no question there would be some children uh, in our projects. I mean, we, we do expect, uh, uh, like a lot of Amador County has a, a largely a, a retirement community, okay. and it has, Amador County actually has only half the number of children per home in schools as a statewide average because okay. of that. And we expect our project will, will mirror that. Uh, but there will be some children, but the school district has not been concerned. Okay. And you know, when I said that, I just realized mm -hmm. we did another story where the enrollment's fallen off by, That's uh, right. by, by quite a lot. So maybe the need, the uh, school board doesn't see that there is a great need right, right at this time. Okay, what, what else would you like to tell us about uh, the project out there? Well, we mainly that uh, we think these are just going to be spectacular projects. I mean, they're, they're in a very, very beautiful settings. Uh, they, uh, we've taken great uh, steps to preserve the trees, the rock outcroppings, uh, and, uh, and we have a lot of open space, a lot of hiking trails, walking trails. Uh, we have four parks for the between the two projects. Uh, we think they're going to be among, if not the very best projects in the entire uh, county, okay. and I think they're going to really help bring Plymouth up to a higher level. I would also like level. to say it always seemed ever since I moved here uh, twenty some years ago that it was almost a natural place to develop because of its close proximity. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, to where yeah. people are, yeah, I guess from our standards, right. are overpopulated. Yeah, the high, Highway 50 corridor, El Dorado right. Hills, Folsom, yeah. and uh, 49 uh, Sacramento. being an easy right. way to get there. Exactly. And it would be a natural. Uh, yeah, exactly. It's it's a great location, and then you've got the wine country to boot. So uh, we, we're just excited about uh, the prospects for Plymouth in the future. We think Plymouth is really uh, going to go someplace in the future. Okay, Bob, really. Uh, okay. Nice of you to stop by and fill you us bet. in. And uh, mm -hmm. stay with us. There's more news on the other side of the break.